Lions might be one of the most effective hunters prowling the plains of Africa, but that's not to say that every meal comes without a challenge. In this footage filmed at Kruger National Park in South Africa, a hungry lion is confronted by a water buffalo, hurrying to the aid of its herdmate. While the buffalo might have easily been killed in this encounter, such was not the case. The larger herd is broken down into smaller harems, with a dominant male and several females and their babies. If a youngster is threatened, both the harem males and bachelor males, which usually fight with one another, will get together to try to rescue it. In the video, the female buffalo is struggling in labor pain. At that moment, a lion was trying to attack the mother buffalo. It continuously hit the mother buffalo with fatal blows. The mother buffalo weakly cried out in pain. The lion almost got his lunch. But from afar, a herd of cavalry charged. Even the sound of our footsteps shook the forest. That's right, I'm a buffalo. We arrived to find a large herd of buffalo milling about in quite an agitated state. This time, a defiant adult buffalo did its best to shield the young calf from lion and fought off the predators as long as it could. The whole herd of buffalo continuously attacked the lion with sharp horns. The lion cried out in pain and seemed to be trying to escape from the aggressive buffalo. The lion appears to have climbed the tree in fear and is evidently in the most helpless situation in its lifetime so far. The distressed big cat was literally gasping for breath as it waited out the innumerable bovine's departure. Well, the lion has historically held the title of the apex predator in its own habitat. It has no natural... Given the distinctly high skeletal muscle proportions, any species or subspecies will have to sit out the current stage of evolution to even come close to matching up with the king of the jungle. But this time, it messed with the wrong with opponent. We all know that lions at times eat buffaloes, but it sometimes takes many lions to bring down a fully grown pig buffalo. Their bodies are heavily built with thick, stocky legs. They also have horns, which are hook-shaped, curving downwards. The horns actually can grow up to 160 centimeters, so it never happens that easy. African buffaloes are hard animals to capture due to their unpredictable and aggressive behavior, and one lion cannot handle a fully grown African buffalo. The buffalo uses its horns for self-defense against predators. It's not often you see a rhino go up against a buffalo, but it did happen. We were left stunned after witnessing an epic battle between two of the Africa Savannah's biggest beasts, a rhino and a buffalo. A video that is going viral shows the intense moment a rhino and buffalo come face to face with each other. The clip shows a two and a half ton rhino appearing to be encroaching on the group of buffaloes. The footage shows one buffalo break off from the herd to confront the much larger animal in an apparent ill-advised test of strength. In what was always going to be a step too far for the buffalo, it was being toyed by the rhino. The rhino landed the final blow by using its horns to throw the animal up into the air and slam it down onto its side. But the buffalo herd did not condone the rhinoceros. The whole herd of aggressive buffalo surrounded the rhinoceros, causing it to fear back. But it was all too late. The buffaloes used their sharp horns to repeatedly stab the rhino in the abdomen. The rhinoceros rolled on the ground and gave off a loud cry. In the end, it died from, unsurprisingly, blood loss. But rhino was the food of a nearby jaguar, which is an opportunist. This time on ridiculously mismatched animal battles, we have a fight between the king of South America and the black death of the African cape. Crouched in the cover of tall grass, the big cat pads forward, seeming to think he has a chance at a meal. Perhaps he's seen rhinoceros carcass, but it soon realized that what it was facing was a herd of buffalo, not a small cat. Finally, his rookie attempt only irritates the buffalo. A posse from the herd approaches to assess the danger and the big cat darts up into the branches of a fallen knobthorn tree. A lucky escape in a sparse landscape. Yep, 
The water buffalo is a tame and calm animal by nature, but its power and strength cannot be underestimated when angered. Bulls, on the other hand, are strong and actually weigh much more than water buffaloes. But again, how strong and dangerous bull is, is determined by the breed of the cow. Some have a short stature and others have big, gigantic structures. A fight between the water buffalo and an average bull can end with the two seriously injured and possibly the water buffalo losing. After a long wait, a fourth buffalo was brought in. This time, the buffalo, his nap interrupted, was really aggravated. Before the bull could even charge, the old buffalo began chasing him and the other three bulls around the arena. He couldn't catch them because of his injured fetlock, but finally, sympathetic workers opened the gates so the bulls could escape from the now very angry buffalo. The Cape Buffalo is one dangerous and short-tempered animal that has been known to change the predator to a prey and killing some of its predators. It even takes several lions to kill a fully grown Cape Buffalo. Putting all this together, a bull is no match for a buffalo. Both the bull and the Cape Buffalo can gore and injure each other seriously, but the Cape Buffalo would still carry the day. While this endangered species can be found in Wales, water buffaloes actually originate from Asia, specifically India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Thailand. The animal is part of the bovine family, with the creatures in this group being cloven hoof and ruminant, meaning they process food in a special part of their several stomachs before it is digested. The majestic creature has become domesticized over thousands of years with 74 different breeds, and it isn't generally considered a violent animal, but it's important to remember that domestic water buffaloes are different from wild water buffaloes. And that's the end of today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all your support of our channel. If you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the track, and ring the bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the wild animal kingdom world. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time from all of us here. Until then, take care and be safe.